Hello and welcome back to um, Plenty of Torment with me, Barden, Dakon, Mort, the nameless one, and our new com newest companion, Anna. Oh, and I've hit that by mistake. So what we're doing here is we're just um, trying to finish off quests before... So is that where we want to go? So that's to... Southeast portion of Hive. Yeah, okay. We're just trying to finish off quests before we head off through the painted door that, that isn't the door. Let's uh, kick some ass here. Oh, that's so we've got right. one where we need to head over um, this way. And zone up here because we were we had the task to find out where um, where Farad was getting his bodies from. I think um, through all the stuff we've done, I think we have that information now that he was basically right. stealing them from the um, Dead Nations. Or yeah, wasn't it called yeah the Dead Nations? Let's uh, pop in here. Who was it that gave us? Was it you? Can't just leave you alone. It wasn't you then. Just me now. Maybe Gravesend. Ah, Morte frowns as you approach, tucking his tongue. You again? Have you come to make me surrender more contracts in the name of the Dustman faction? He frowns. Then sighs. Well, no matter, no matter. The past is the past. He reigns his old smile and nods you. What is it I may do for you? I have some questions for you. Mm, no, actually, you're not the person I'm looking for. Okay. All right. How about Emerick? Or Emerick, maybe. I spoke to Farad and discovered where Farad is getting the bodies he brings to you. Where do the bodies he brings us come from? Truth. They come from the catacombs beneath Sigil. He's taking the bodies you have buried and selling them back to you. When you bury them again, he just digs them up again. Emmerich falls silent. He is staring at you with his stony gaze and you are suddenly struck with the feeling that his eyes are burrowing into your skull. Uh, Emmerich nods. You have done a service for the dustman. He removes his hands from his sleeves, then lets his long sleeves drop across the table like a curtain. When he pulls them back, a small lapis lazuli coffin lies upon the table. It is a tiny thing, barely two inches wide and three inches long. The dustman's symbol is engraved on the coffin lid. Let's pick up the box. As you pick up the coffin, it chirrups, unfolds and dissolves into a stream of hundreds of copper pieces, which you somehow manage to keep from spilling across the floor of the bar. How all these coins fit into the tiny coffin is beyond you. I must take my leave, farewell. So we got some more cash there, that's nice. <clears throat> Let's pop ourselves outside. Okay, right. so with the mausoleum to the northwest, open tomb, mortuary entrance, Anger's house, I leave the dark angels. <coughs> okay, so where do we want to go next? I don't think we want to go to the mausoleum. Maybe we want to go northwest. Uh, let's go to the northwest portion of the hive. I know that we, um, well, if we check our journal, what do we have left? Uh, Quince Poison Charm.
Quint, the corpse peddler in the buried village, is looking for a poison charm. He says the collect name Gris the Vulture has it. Find Gris, find the charm, return it to Quint. Okay, find the site where Anna found your body. No, removed. Okay, so the cursed spitter probably lives in one of the upper wards where Weakwin used to live. Okay, so that one's not done yet, but we need to get to um, one of the upper wards. So we need to get out of the hive, I guess. So hopefully this is a way to get out of the hive. So we're now in the hive. To rag picker square, to the flop house, to the sudden part of the hive, the northeast. Okay, let's go. I don't think Rack Picker Square will get us on going. So let's go this way instead. I'm sure they will. <laughs> Back in the hive, hive dwelling. Okay, let's move on right. and see where else we can find for ourselves. Okay, so we're back to Done. in the hive. I think um, what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to go through the door now because there's not much else that we can do here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hopefully you don't die as soon as we appear on the other side. Okay, door is locked. Okay, that's not a problem for us. <coughs> close your eyes and open the door. You close your eyes, reach for the door and fumble around. To your surprise you find a handle. With a slight tug, the door opens. A narrow passage leads into the building. And from within you can hear distant howling. Try to head on in. Okay, here we go. This is going to be fun. I can already tell. Okay, so that's Farrow, isn't it? And he's got some friends. Oh, they're the guys we saw at the start. Ooh. Yeah, maybe Farrod isn't going to be uh, collecting right. any more corpses. Tiefling painter, let's talk to you. You see a slender tiefling standing with her back to you. You notice that both her hands and the upper upended table in front of her are smeared with a fresh coat of what appears to be pink paint. She seems oblivious to your approach. Greetings. At the sound of your voice, the girl turns her head to regard you. Her face, though somewhat dirty and spattered with drops of pink, is strikingly beautiful. She flashes you with my wide, mischievous smile, then returns her attention to make you canvas. I have some questions. The tinkling girl seems totally immersed in her art. She ignores you entirely. Let's leave her to her painting. Okay. Oh, let's check the barrel before we go there. Nothing. Okay. That'll be checked. Let's check this barrel. Or possibly nothing as well. Oh, five coppers. Okay. Let's check every room. Because that's what you do. That one looks pretty boring. Let's check this one now. Okay. Oh, not so boring. 
Um, interesting. Okay, well let's let's help. <coughs> Sixty-five experience, and then let's get you. So I don't know what we were fighting them for. Hopefully we haven't turned everyone hostile. Oh, maybe we have. No, he's a thug, so... And he's a starving dog as well. So he was worth killing. Dirty rat charm. And the dirty rat charm. Nothing else there. Okay, so... We want to go down this way next, I guess. Another barrel to check. Some bandages. We leave the rags. Since we hard to open that. Okay, who are you? Tarsius. Okay, let's talk to you. You see an aging man dressed in tattered rags. As you draw near, you discover that he is missing both of his eyes. The scar tissue of his eyelids have receded into his empty, into his empty sockets, giving his features the macabre appearance of the, a decaying skull. Greetings. The old man turns in your general direction, his arms outstretched as if feeling for you. Darkness, who be in voice? The friend words I'll speak of you and call chaos. Speak the words of chaos and you'll call me friend is this jumbled up scramble speak really necessary? The old man cocks his head to one side, his sightless gaze fixed on empty space. Chaos of you are not, not, pot, snot. Has everyone here lost their minds? Walk not walk, talk is complete, completed is to completion. He turns his back to you, apparently done with the conversation. Look old man, you better give me some straight answers or you'll soon be missing more than just your eyes. The old man seems outraged by your threat. No friend you be, and no friend have you here. Friends I have and friends I call. He takes a deep breath as if he is about to begin shouting. Let's uh, leave quickly. Help, someone help. Okay, uh, we turned everyone hostile, it looks like. Okay, well let's continue on. Blind guy shouldn't be able to follow us. Shouldn't be able to follow us. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah, so we have definitely turned everyone. <coughs> Excuse the coughing. Let's ignore her. Uh, let's load. So let's go to auto save just before we came in. I'm gone. So there's the thing with Farad again. Done. Let's talk to her. Sounds like a ready party going on here. Greetings. Okay. Okay, now. Let's let's not attack these two. Let's just leave them to wherever they they happen to be doing. Anyone who attacks us though gets their ass kicked. Okay, then we'll go down and chat with the blind man again. You see an aging man dressed in tattered rags, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just leave him there. Because it was the next statement that got us in trouble. Let's go talk to Sybil then. I knew someone in Final Fantasy XI who named the character Sybil as well. You see a figure hidden amid the shadows in the corner of the room. As you draw near, a young woman steps out to reveal herself. She's dressed in a loose-fitting tunic which, together with her short cropped hair and slender frame, give her a rather boyish appearance. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. She nods in the direction of the door on the south wall. 
Why? What is beyond the door? She winces at the sound of your voice, putting a finger to her lips to indicate silence. She pauses for a moment and answers in a hushed voice. A whole mess of them howling lunatics, that's what. Looks like they're having some sort of gathering. Won't be able to get through the alley until they clear out. Howling lunatics? Is there an echo in here? Yes, howling lunatics. They belong to the starved dog barking gang. A band of barmy zootex. Thugs that plague this part of the hive. How many of them are there? I count about a dozen of them, of course. I was peeking through a crack in the door, so it could be off by a handful or so. A dozen or so? That's hardly a challenge. Look, you can play hero if you want, but leave me out of it. I'm staying right here. If you, by some miracle, you don't get your innards stomped out by some animals in there, maybe I'll see you around. She turns and slips back into the shadows of the corner. On second thoughts, maybe I should, shouldn't go in there. There may be another way to get past those animals without a fight. There is another door that leads in there. From what I was able to see, there are stacks of wooden crates along the same wall as, as the other door. It may be possible to sneak from that door to the exit on the other side of the room. There's only one problem. What would that be? The door is locked. I tried it. My guess is that the key is on one of the tugs upstairs. I not addle covered coved enough to go up there looking for it though she found folds her arms across her chest and stares at you expectantly if the key's up there i'll find it farewell updated my journal if you do manage to live long enough to find the key the door is in a room to the southeast i'll be watching from the shadows if you can lock the door and make it out to the alley in one piece i'll be right behind you farewell then Okay, so let's go find where upstairs is and get the key, I guess. Got nothing to search in. Oh, it's a barrel. Okay. Oh, and lots of coppers as well. Nice. Let's head in here. There's the stairs. Okay, so let's check. That door is locked and needs a key. Okay. Yeah, maybe let's leave him alone and head up the stairs. And while they're walking, I'll pour myself a drink. My throat is very dry today, so I'll have to forgive my coughing. Okay, so up here. We need to find whoever has the key. Another barrel. Some more coppers. And a dagger. Maybe the dagger is better than what we're using. Um, let's check. One to six piercing. Speed two. Let's try it. Okay. Oh, I think we had a trap there. Nothing to see there. Okay. Let's head through this door then. One of you gets has the key. Hopefully. So guess what? We're going to kick the crap out of it. Die. Yep, die. Sounds like a good plan. Now let's see. Copper earring. Oh, thank you. Where's the other guy? There's one. This guy down here. Okay, so it wasn't them. So someone up here may have the key. Oh, and there's lots of them. Okay, one more. What's up? Sure, why not? You get started. Oh, 
Oh. That one's down, so we'll have to get him back up. And we can. Okay, so um, let's raise dead on you. Yep, sorry about that back on, but what could we do, eh? If Mort went down, we were all screwed. I hear your word, your will be oh. done. Maybe it's that thing I'm gone. that has to be. Uh, where the hell are you going, back one? That was stupid. I knew him well. What? Don't kill the back one, dude. That's right. Okay, um, let's make a save because I'm feeling that I'm going to get my ass kicked. So main save, do that, okay, and then let's head on up here. Come on, everybody move. Go, go, go. Damn it. Oh, I feel dead. stronger. Nice. Never look. Get you up. What's going on? Done. Are you too far away? Blaze. You. I do Yep, yeah, you got killed twice in I'm a gone. matter of seconds. Bronze ring, no thank you. Here we go, there's the key. Done. Uh, let's check in here because we've got a cat that needs killing from curiosity. And then in here as well. Oh. What's more that, sorting out. I will heal past mine. You guys can help Mort as well. Where did all his imagery go? Mort does have a bunch of those, so let's give them to you. So grab that. Okay, let's do our level. Accept that. Um, let's increase intelligence. And accept. Okay. Three. Let's pop those there. Okay. Just got want to get people to enough health so that they can survive the dash through the room. Should be okay now. So let's head down. Okay, down we go. Done. And down again.
Okay, and... Okay, that needs another key then. That's nice to know. Let's come here. Let's kill you. Oh, and you've got a friend. Here. Well, we take both of them. Die. be enough. They've just got crap, so Done. let's not worry about the crap. And then let's check in here. Let's kill you. Die. Damn. What's the word, Chief? Come on, everybody attack. I'm hurt. That's one of the hard things about playing Done. older games is Done. Like the interface Done. in terms of what, how you control your characters could be a lot better. Okay, so let's get ourselves through here. So we lost the key, which is fine. Then we need to run. So we're apparently sneaking and then through there. And then there's that lady. I must say, Cutter, I'm impressed. I thought for sure those animals would chew you up good. Well, I guess I should thank you. She paused for a moment, pauses for a moment, then reaches into her pouch and pulls forth a small green gemstone. Here. This one's on the dogs. See you around, Cutter. Farewell, Sybil. Updated my journal. Okay, so got some experience. We can't go that way. Or that way. Okay, so let's check the map. So it looks like we go around this way. We've got a Davos there. Okay, let's pop in here and see what it is. Can we pop? All right. Oh, somebody dead. You see the dead body of Adabas. The stench of its decay is overpowering, and from the looks of its rigid, unnatural posture, extreme rigor mortis has long since set in. These are stories, bones tell on the corpse. As you reach out with your power, there is a faint stirring in the air. The Davos, Davos's body blurs for a moment. You feel a strange, wrenching pain in your skull, as if someone is hammering on it sharply, desperately. Let's try and focus. Your vision goes blank for a moment, and the hammering pain fades, until it sounds like it is coming from outside your skull. The darkness clears, and you hear the hammering coming from outside the building. The entire building seems hazy somehow, confused. As if you ha are seeing it through a mist. Let's keep focusing on the vision. The hammering dies and you suddenly see a spectral version of the Davos entering the building. As it does, the windows and doors become like water. Suddenly seeing over the entrance, entrance Davos came through. Davos turns, pauses and then begins the slow circuit of the room. Examining the walls and hammering on each one once as if testing it. Let's keep focusing on the vision. The Davos completes the circuit of the room, then pauses. By the door, it once entered. It begins hammering, chipping away the stone. But every blow, the wall repairs itself. The vision fades to black and the hammering continues. First at a steady pace, then slower, then slower. Let's keep focusing on, on the vision. Your vision clears as the hammering ends and you are once again standing beside the corpse of the Davos. It looks as if it withered away here, trapped in the building. Let's leave the corpse of the Davos. You know, I've learned some new tricks. Oh, nice. So she's leveled up. Thief skills. 
Okay, um, there's stealth. Open doors. Let's pump that up. And then stealth. And accept that. Okay. Yeah, happy with that. Done. Now, okay, let's check there, but hopefully we're not trapped in the room as well. Or trapped in the building, should we say. No. So whatever happened to Davos didn't Done. happen to us. Okay, let's continue on. What's this? This is a dark recess, I guess. Okay. Onwards. Looks like that's all. Oh no, we can go over there. I was gonna say, it looks like that's all we can cover, but no. There's more. But well, we can't get there. Not from here, anyway. Well, where are we going now? Let's open the gate. And then continue on. So where are we now? It seems like a cutscene because they're moving on their own. This is the place I found the ye lion. Okay. You stare in awe at the bizarre spectacle before you. What has appeared to be an ordinary unremarkable brick wall now throbs and pulsates with movement. The wall expands with curious elasticity, heaving outwards as if some unseen force were trying to push it its way through the barrier from the other side. Slowly the undulating mass begins to settle, its curves becoming more and more pronounced, and you find yourself at eye level with the stony caricature of a human face. What is that? I don't know. Anna stares at the face in disbelief, her hands nervously fingering her daggers. But I'm for leaving for we find out I. Not just yet, there is something. Suddenly a strong breeze begins to blow around you and the air is filled with an eerie sign. The rushing wind grows stronger and you can make out other sounds as well. The creaking of boards, the rustling of leaves and the grinding of stone upon stone. After a few moments the clamour ceases to be to be a cacophony of individual noises and begins to blend into one articulate sound. You can make out a voice, a voice that speaks softly, yet seems to come from all around you at once. You, it cannot be you. Greetings. The wind around you has stopped, but the voice is still somehow present. You are restored again. I saw you destroyed. Destroyed where? I saw you destroyed here, in front of me. I see all within me. Do you know what happened to me? Things that cast no shadow were shadow. They rose around you, tore you down. Do you not remember? You concentrate on the strange voice, composed of sounds around you. Somewhere in the deepest recesses of your mind, there is a brief glimmer of recollection. You feel as though there is something vaguely familiar about the sounds. Let's close our eyes and try to remember. Oh, these crazy things. Yeah, not a good way to die. And there's Anna. Yes, you remember. The voice of the alley rings in your ears, scattering the images from your mind and returning you back to the present. Destroyed as soon I shall be. I cannot delay the vision much longer. Pressure builds. Soon stones will crumble and the floating ones will re repair me to destruction. You're dying. 
Pressure is too much, too many places folded inside. Not enough space, must divide. Divide? Ah, it must be in the way. What are you talking about? I think it's pregnant. Oh. Freak. Freaky? So, where are we technically standing right now? I really don't want to know the answer to that, Mort. The voice continues. Help me divide, branch out, expand. New apertures will open. You may use them to travel to the lower ward. What do you need to divide? The floating one is upon me, repairing. It prevents me from dividing. I undo its repairs, but it returns again and again, repairs anew. Must remove the floating one. You want me to kill the Davos in the alley? Remove it. Only then can I divide. Very well, I'll remove the Davos for you. Updated my journal. Okay, so... I'm gone. Where is the Davos? I guess it's... Is it... Mm, is the guy back there? Because you can't go anywhere else. So, nothing there. Let's get you. Okay, nothing there. Yeah, look, we can't move anywhere else, so it's got to be the one back there. So we'll go and take care of him, come back, talk to you, and then that's probably going to be the end of this episode. Done. Yeah, this is the alley, so. Mr. Dabus, where are you? We've got a present for you. So when we saw him first, he was there. Wonder, yep, yeah, there he is. Hi. Why not? Let's get everyone What's ready. Up? You see it, Davis. It is dressed in long flowing robes. In long flowing robes and flowing slightly above the ground. Greetings. It turns to face you and a series of symbols appear around its head. I must attend to my duties. No time to speak. I understand. I just thought you should know that I discovered the body of a Davos in this alley. The Davos cocks its head slightly to one side. A number of symbols stream above his head, most of which indicate surprise, distress, rather than words. Dead? Where? It lies in the abandoned building. Not far from here. It looks as though it got trapped inside somehow. The Davos stares at you briefly then bows slightly and floats off in the direction of the abandoned beam. Farewell. I'm gone. So let's let him hop into the house and see if our arm that awaits us. So he's in there. Do we need to go inside now and kill him? No, it's locked. Great, so I think we got rid of him. And we didn't even have to kill him, so the lady won't be angry with us. So down there we go. As you approach the stone face, the various ambient sounds of the alley once again assault your ears, and through them the voice speaks. You have returned. I spoke with the Davis, I told him about his dead brethren, and he left to investigate. Updated my journal. Yes, the floating one no longer appears. It is now with the other. I have closed myself around it. It remains inside me forever. I see. Now that it is trapped, you can divide without interference, right? Still cannot divide, too weak, cannot undo floating one's repair. It's change much, its changes must be reversed before I can divide. You must undo the floating one's repairs for me. You want me to undo the Davis's changes, how? 
Seek out the parts of me the floating one has changed. Reverse the changes, undo the repairs. Must be exact, precise. Only then can I divide. Very well, I'll find and reverse the repairs for you. I probably need some tools. A hammer and pry bar should do the trick. Updated my journal. Okay, so we'll do the undoing um, next time because we're out of time for this particular episode. So um, if you have enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and perhaps posting a comment. And from myself, Mort, the nameless one, Dakon, Anna, and the weird face in the wall, it's goodbye, and we really do hope to see you all next time.